All right, let's go ahead and get started on this. This is Dan Robinson, Census Fear. Um, sorry about the noise and the volume, but it's the best I can do at the moment. So we're in MovieZoo Play Plus. You can do this in Play, um, which is pretty much the same thing, except you don't have import. We're going to go ahead and open up the park. It's usually one of the best ones to work with. It's a little easier to load. Um, sometimes you'll get an error, but you just close it. It's fine. It doesn't really affect anything. Now that we don't everything to load. Um, we'll start from kind of like a beginning to end thing. So then we got our error. Alright, now you have a couple things here. You have a camera. You can click on it. You can move it. Um, up here is your camera box. It shows all your cameras when you add more. And which ones are active. So we only have one camera, so we know which one's active. This is a garbage can. Um, you got some trash, some grass. Uh, you have a walkway. You have a tree, a bench. Um, for the object, we just double click. This is really cool. Um, you have properties, physics, scale, and lighting. Lighting gives you, uh, you know, your shadows. The scale is actually what I want to talk about. The scale is really cool. You have a little button here. You click the button, and um, it unlocks them individually. See, so you can do like all sorts of really cool things. You can do this with every object. You can make them flat and like really cool looking, um, and tall, and all that good cool stuff. Reset, and then you can just double click here, and then you can move them all together and make them bigger as one unit. Um, I accidentally tipped over the bench, that's funny. Um, you can do it with like any object. So, just to give you a generalized idea of that, you can also double click it um, and go to properties, and you can change what colors things are. So, like, we can take the gray, whatever it loads. Um, we can click like a yellow. So, you can make like the paper sticking out of it yellow. Um, we can take uh, the main color of the bin and make it whatever color we want. So let's say we wanted a red garbage can. Now we have a red colored garbage can. Um, just to give you an idea of what you can do. Um, next we're going to go ahead and create a character. You go to create under characters. I know they got tutorials up but some people you know they follow them they're like well I want to do my own thing. So but a couple things I don't show you online is, is the stuff I'm about to show you. Alright with a character we have a character. I'm going to kind of tip up my thing here if it'll let me. Alright, come on, thank you. I'm going to bring my camera, or my view down so I can actually see what I'm doing if it lets me. It's a little touchy sometimes. Yeah. Alright, there's my character. I'm not, you can rename your character, double click them. And you can rename your character up here, where it says Jim. Um, I'll call him Dan. There you go. Alright, now you can change his hair and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm not going to do much of that right now. Um, cause you can, you can figure all that stuff out pretty easy. I'm gonna click on decals. Um, you have the back, the custom texture, and it's chest. But we're gonna go to custom texture. Because I think this is the most fun. Now, you have import here on the bottom, but that's only for MovieZoo Play Plus. So, if you've got Play, um, you can still do this, but you don't, we're not importing. You can click on, um, usually character, um, and you can click on some cool stuff, and we can change some cool things about them. Um, you got face masks, see? Like, whatever basically we have, we have textures. So we can change them to pretty much whatever we want, and we can have fun with it, you know? So, and that's that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. Like, we can we can have some cool fun with things. Um, let's see what else we got. Go here. Um, we can, we have some kind of costumes. We can put them in a suit. So we'll do that. Like, there's a bunch of cool stuff you can do with them. You can also change the color of them, too, which is really cool. Like, if you go back under textures, or not textures, sorry. Um, go here, close that out. You can come over here to appearance. Um, was it appearance? No, no, sorry, sorry. Go under here, body. His skin color. Okay, so we click on that, wait for it to load. And it gives you a color wheel. So we can turn on black. We can make them red. We can make them yellow. So we'll we'll stick with red for right now. But just to give you an idea, we can do pretty much whatever we want to do in this program, which is awesome. So now we have like a red devilish dude. Now let's go ahead and make him like a devil. So I'll go back to his appearance. Now we know that we're gonna need some stuff for him, right? So this is like his hat stuff, right? So we'll look down, and I'm sure there's horns in here. There's always stuff in here. There's some horns. Throw some horns on his head. Now we got to give him a tail. Okay, he's got some horns. And yes, you can give him a tail. It's really, really cool. So here's his tails right here. Okay, now we'll turn him around. We'll put a tail on him. We'll click the character one time so we can turn him. Oh, if it'll work. Hold on. Running this program that I'll show you guys kind of sucks sometimes because it bogs my computer down. 
All right, we'll turn him like this so we can see his tail. Now, um, we'll give him a tail. Now, the cool thing about the tail is it's customizable again. So we got the location. Now we just need to raise up the scale of it, right? So we need to make it a little longer. There we go. We maxed out his tail. Now he's got a tail. So now he actually looks like a devil. Now we have a devil. And like I said, in MoveZoo, you can do pretty much whatever you want to do. Oh, that's the other thing. Let's change his eyes. Let's say that we want to change the color of his eyes. Um, so we come down to face. There's a little arrow here. Click on face. We'll go to eyes. And we can give him whatever kind of eyes we want. Make him look evil. Um, you, can give him, you can do pretty much whatever you want to do. And we can change the color of his eyeballs too. So let's say we wanted to do yellow eyes. Well, we just click on yellow. See? Um, we wanted to make him red eyes. They kind of blend in, so that one more. What about black eyes? See? So that when he blinks, he looks like a demon. Um, there's so many different things you can do in here. But it's just part of it. So I just want to let you guys know. And, you know, it's a beginner's guide anyway, so just give you an idea. Um, another thing you can do is, is actions and stuff like that to make them move around and stuff. And we'll get into that in the next one. Have fun and keep creating.